Welcome, heroes. Thank the Pin Lords you have arrived. Our kingdom is under attack and we need your help. A fierce dragon has made its lair in the eastern mountains. Daily hunts for food and treasure bring it closer to the castle. My citizens are terrified. Emboldened by the presence of the dragon, dangerous creatures moved into the ruins and ravaged lands. Please arm yourselves. Fight your way to the mountains and stop its evil ways. You're our only hope, King Parker. What's up, everybody? I'm Mikey Dredd. This is my buddy, Nathaniel. We're at Emerson Lanes, and today I am challenging him to Dragon Bowl. If you saw our unboxing episode, then you've been looking forward to this. I know I have. We're going to go ahead and accomplish the encounters, slay the dragon. Before we get to that, I want to thank Scarb Enterprises for sponsoring today's episode. They sent us down a couple copies of Dragon Bowl so we could check it out. They are official PWBA sponsors, and you heard I said copies. That's because we're giving away this copy right here to one of our viewers to win this copy of Dragon Bowl. All you got to do is comment below in this video your favorite PWBA bowler, and make sure you like both this video, that's using the thumbs up button, on this video and on the unboxing. If you want an extra chance to enter, you can comment your favorite PWBA bowler down there too. You can give me one and two, or you can vote for the same person twice. I'm just curious to see who we're supporting in the community. I know my comment will be for Ms. Dasha Kovalova, who is actually a featured artist of a few of the encounter cards here for Dragon Bowl. So, Without any further ado, we've read through the rules. We're gonna go ahead and pick our characters and get to the action. I hope you enjoy Dragon Bowl here on Bowling Science. All right. What's up everybody? Mikey Dredd here with Nathaniel and we're getting ready to play some Dragon Bowl. A uh, little, little uh, rundown for you. Let me grab our rule book here. So Nathaniel and I are going to be playing on expert and pro difficulties. He'll be playing on expert. So at the beginning of each move, he's going to have to roll a four-sided dice to determine whether he has to move his feet left or right. So even numbers are move right, odd numbers are move left. And then he has to roll a dice based on the creature card he encounters. And then we have to move that number of boards that he gets on that dice roll to the direction that he rolled on the four-sided die. If he strikes, he defeats the creature. If he does not strike, he stays on the encounter to re-roll the dice on the next turn. And uh, if he doesn't strike or spare, he's gotta move back one space on the game board. It looks like my direction, mine are very similar, except I have an extra rule. I have to roll a D based on the number of balls in my current arsenal to determine which ball to use. So I will be using my hammer arsenal today. I have a 3D offset, I have a obsession tour, and I have a purple hammer. Those are my three bowling balls. And so I will be rolling a four-sided die to determine which of those three I roll. If I roll a four, I get to pick. That's what we're gonna do. You know what? I have four balls with me. I have a spare ball. So one through four are gonna be my bowling balls. One will be the spare ball. Two will be the urethane ball. Three will be the obsession tour and four will be the hammer 3D offset. So I have four balls uh, that we're gonna move through. That's the uh, rule change for the pro level. So each level of difficulty ramps up. We went ahead and picked our heroes. I'm gonna go ahead and check out what heroes we picked. I picked Roalai Dawnstrike, and he picked Zan Tenpin. Let's see here. So here's his character. Zan Tenpin. Zan Tenpin is the Chronomancer Zen emerged from the dawn mist and strode silently through the town towards the castle. Time crystals within the hourglass on his back tinged his surroundings in pale blue. The ancient texts had revealed the magical properties of dragon blood. Though no monk had left their stronghold in centuries, the elders judged the exposure worth the reward and sent Zan to collect a sample. His skill is to retake a shot twice during the game. So if he doesn't like his shot result, he can 
Mulligan go again. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there so we don't forget. And I picked Roalai Dawn Strike, the Elven War Mage. Nature's swirling powers, currents. Whoop. Nature's swirling power, currents flow through Roalai's veins. As the most powerful Elven Mage in the last millennium, she's been on the front line in every conflict, wreaking havoc on enemy forces and earning the exalted rank of Ethereal Guardian, sent by Elf King Ka Elamon to prevent the dragon from reaching the Elven Kingdom. She will do anything and everything to save her people. Her skill is to re-roll one or more dice in a frame. Twice a game. All right. We're gonna, let's go ahead and grab our creatures and we're gonna set them down here in the proving grounds, our characters. I've got Roalai Dawn Strike and Zen is Nathan's character. So um, we have to get out of here before we can go where we wanna go. Let's go ahead and start the game. Ah. Let's go ahead and start the game by shuffling the encounter cards and picking six random encounter cards to place face down on the board. Go ahead and cut these up. Give them a cut. There we go. So we're gonna deal them out. And now, the dragon card. All right, we have determined our initial starting point on the lane, right? You have your initial starting point. What lane is, where are you starting? Okay, so we call that the 15 board. Wait, you're to the right, so you're on 25. For lefty, he's on the lefty 25. I'm standing righty 32, 33. That's my starting position. So we have to start from there. And uh, apparently I, I have to throw whatever ball dice I land. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, the scissors! Uh, All right, I go first. <laughs> and he makes it. All right, we both made it out of the proving grounds. So I'm rolling up here to the first space along with Zan Tenpin. All right, we're at the first encounter. Let's flip our encounter card. All right, so the first uh, encounter card is Screaming Trees, emboldened by the dragon's rampage. The trees uproot and seek revenge against our axe wielders. Their outraged screams fill the air. All right, it's a 10 strength creature. So I'm gonna roll the D4. All right, here's the four-sided die. I got a four, so I have to move my feet to the right. And we have a 10. All right, that's an eight. We have a 10-sided die here. This tells me how many boards I have to move. I have to move one board to the right and I have to throw which ball? Ball number one. That's my freaking spare ball. <laughs> so I have to move one board right from my strike shot and throw my spare ball. All right, go ahead and roll yours. Let's see what you get here. So I'm rolling this so one So you have first. to roll the four, yep. Two. 
All right, so you're gonna have to move to the right as well. Okay. Now roll the 10. This one? Yep. And you have to go five <laughs> boards to the right. Okay. And I have to go one board to the right, but you get to throw whatever ball you want. That's All nice. All right, let's check it out. Thank you everyone for coming out today, and I hope to see you again next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Let's see what you got. That's insane. Uh Oh my. So I have five right? And it you have to move which five ball. right. You don't, yep, and you can throw whatever ball you want. Cool. That's helpful. <laughs> and he strikes. We've both defeated the screaming trees. And we move forward together to the next encounter. The next encounter is the nightmare of Sparloon. This massive eight-legged nightmare hungers web-slung between the trees. It waits for its next meal to blunder into the sticky trap. All right, time to roll. This is an eight creature. So we'll roll to determine what direction I have to move, the number of boards, and what ball. All right, I have to move left. I rolled a three. Two boards and 3D offset. Let's see what you get. You roll the, the triangle first. Yep, and then that one. Two. Ooh, You're okay. moving right. Right four. Right four, four. and I'm left two. All right. 3D offset. Let's go. I'm gonna slow it down a little. I got the moves. We making moves. I'm what? Four, four right? Four right. Okay. Time to slow, slow. Slow with the feet and stay soft. One board left, one last one. Oh, okay. oh that rolled real good. <laughs> Once again, we have slayed the nightmare of Sparloon. We're gonna have to do this on a sport pattern. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're gonna get the lanes oiled for next week. I'm totally down. All right. Oh, shoot. We're at the cross bridge. We both have to, we have to strike. Minute? No, no, this oh, one's this just one's a strike. strike. Okay. Yeah, so we just have to strike. We're just gonna stick with the 3D. That's the move. <laughs> Doesn't even Don't matter. matter. Probably should stick with the high red max. Yeah. Probably do this. Oh, that's Oh, I'm gonna use my ability. All right. Retake a shot twice. He's gonna retake the shot using Zan Tenpin's uh, hidden ability. I get to move across the bridge to our next encounter. We'll see if uh, Zan can catch up next frame. But in the meantime, it's my favorite card. I was so hoping we'd get this one. We have the Lunar Moth. This is one of the cards that Dasha Kovalova did the artwork for. Basking in the moonlight, this ephemeral beauty will not abide intruders. She will defend her territory with a dragon's ferocity. It is only a six difficulty character though. Though I've been getting low rolls anyways. <laughs> All right, the six sided die. All right, let's see, uh, we moving left or right? We're moving left. One board. I've been getting such easy <laughs> rolls, bro. 
And what ball am I throwing? Except I did get plastic ball once. And we're still on the 3D offset. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to fall over the line. <laughs> oh, they're starting to hook over there. It is. Sika, smash. All right, I've moved on to the next encounter. I'm still stuck at the bridge. All right. Griffin Matriarch, guarding her nest, the sharp talon mother will rend and tear anything or anyone who comes too close. It's a six difficulty creature. All right, same deal. I gotta go left or right. Two is right. One. You gotta be kidding. Oh, I gotta pick a ball. You gotta be kidding, man. I gotta move right one. And I have to throw the purple hammer. That's perfect. The purple hammer hooks one board less than the uh, 3D offset. I'm gonna give it a little extra tilt. Just a little. No, you did not. Okay. Uh, go back to the Zen here. And try to strike? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. gotta do a strike, bud. Yeah. You were, talking about, you were talking about wanting a harder difficulty, <laughs> and this frame is zero difficulty. It, it's really not. I, you know, every other challenge frame I struck, so it's kind of funny. I pulled it again. Mike strike. Give him the Brooklyn! It doesn't even matter. So uh, our good friend here gets to move on to the Lunar Moth encounter. And I'm stuck with the six die again, but we both get the same number of dice to roll. All right. I'm moving left. Five boards. Please be the plastic ball. Please be the plastic ball. I thought that was going to be the hardest one. It's the urethane ball. Purple hammer, five left. Oh no, okay. Got two. That's right. Yeah, two's right. Mm -hmm. Right five. Okay. So left five, purple hammer. Oh shit. All right. Nice and slow this time, guys. At least she posted your shot. Yeah. You gotta find the positive this, in everything. This doesn't count, but for my own self-esteem, I'm gonna throw the same shot. And probably strike. Hopefully it doesn't swim again. First shot, that would have been good. Yeah, that would have been Beautiful. great. First shot, yeah. First shot, yeah. <laughs> right five. Oh. Just keep the feet slow. Soften it up. That's the best one. It really did. The same place. Oh, goodness. We're both at the Griffin Matriarch. All right, I'm gonna roll both of these at the same time. We don't have to roll them at separate times. <laughs> Look at us figuring out how to play dice board games. All right, I have to move left five with, come on, say purple hammer. 3D offset, that's a good win too. All right, uh, you are, yeah, yeah, roll, the, roll them both at the same time. You got two, so that's left. Even You're left. right five. Right. Left, evens, uh, odds left. Okay, right five. So, so I'm same left. place. I'm literally in the same place. All right. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We're 
gonna try to make it. I'll try to get my uh, tacky hand or hand on right here. Tacky would be very proud. Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Oh. Come on, Pat. Oh my goodness. We need to do a call out spare challenge, Packy. You and me, the house first bowling science. Let's go. Fantastic. I mean, I know he's bowling like the World Series or yeah, something. Yeah, no big deal, but like, come on. Come on, man, come on, Packy. Yeah, man. You two call outs are happening. Oh my goodness. All right, he had to move right five. It's like he was already lined up. Should have slapped it out. Oh, bam, to our next dangerous pass in the board. What's this one called? Make sure we got it right. The rock slide challenge. We must strike or spare. Cool, so we have a chance to spare here. Wait, the two frames in a... So for two frames in a row, we have to strike or spare. All right. Looks like we misplayed the first pass. You had to strike twice, but we know I would have struck twice anyways. I'm not so sure about myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have to strike or spare twice. Two frames in a row to get through the pass. We knew that. We knew what two in a row meant, yeah. I promise. Oh, if we were playing as teams, we get to do it as scotch doubles. All right, I have to strike or spare twice. He has to strike or spare twice in a row. Alright. Just start with a strike. No big deal. Just a strike anywhere I want to stand. Okay. We're gonna spare. There we go, twice in a row with two different balls. I think we're on pro difficulty. Actually, rather be shooting at a seven pin right now. Throw, you know, throw shiny ball straight. Shiny ball straight. Shiny ball straight. You're good. You got this. That's not there. Would you? Uh, I'm would using you, my. Would you like to mulligan? Yeah. Uh, yes, I am going to. Yeah, use my you can go ahead and mulligan for another strike or spare yeah, here. You're tr I mean, you are caught up. Yeah. I want to stay that way. I don't want to get left behind in the dust. Be there. All right. He got it. Didn't that time. To encounter number five. Oh, we got another Dasha, co another Dasha card. The Deep Forest Guardian. After a spell went awry, fusing her cells with that of a raccoon. This once peaceful healer aggressively defends denizens of the deep woods. Difficulty level eight. I believe that's, is that the, no, I guess the first one's not. There's a 20. There's, There's a 20. 20. I think that's for the dragon at some point. Probably. All right, where are we at? Eight, eight's this one. Rolling the eight and the four to see which way we go. All right, I have to go right eight boards. This is the hardest one you've had so far. Please be spare ball. Please be spare ball. That is Purple not hammer. The spare. <laughs> not the spare ball. All right, let's get your roll in right. here. Right eight purple hammer. All right, four, four is right. Four is right. Okay. 
Right seven. Oh, this is gonna be the hardest. You have back. to hook it, and I, I have, have to, to throw straighter. Right eight. All right, that's uh, one little ticky, one big ticky. All right, and I can't go fast here because I'll fall. Fouls don't count, okay? If I end up over the line, we're taking it. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna make this ball hook eight points less? I'm gonna spin biscuit the crap out of it. You heard it here first. Spin biscuit. Two handed spin biscuit. Oh, I made it hook less. You I, did make it hook less. I made it hook a lot less. I've never thrown that much tilt <laughs> as a two hander. I know how to do it one handed, so it's kind of different. It's a new thing. Diversity. I'm still coming for you, Packy. Here's my, my righty 379. <laughs> Instead of calling it the 2 8 then, right? Uh, okay. Okay, so I'm one for two on my channel. I'll take that. One for two. <laughs> if it were slower, you were so excited to tuck the pinky, you rocketed the, the shit the out of I love it. The pinky. How did you leave this? Um, I'm not gonna ask. I pretty just... much went straight through the okay. four pen. I'm gonna throw it kind of straight at this. See what happens. I don't think we got any of that. What do you mean? I might not have shot that, but uh, he got the, uh, he got left, left one, right one. He got right one right. and I got left seven with the 3D offset. Literally. Seven left. Okay. Hooky, 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 hooky. That did not hook. There's, there's enough oil on the outside here. You can't just bounce it for free off the dry. Yeah, how come the left outside hooks, but the right outside doesn't? The left is walled, man. There's the truth. It's bad as I hate to admit it. <laughs> it comes out. It does. The truth does come out. First time play. Um, you have to strike. Oh no! If you don't strike or spare, I'm supposed to move back one. Oh, we've been, we haven't been playing it like that. Oh no! So I had to go I back one. Whenever I was over there. That's all right. We'll take it. Well, it is what it is. I have to go back one now, and I now have to double. <laughs> all right. So what we're gonna do? You go ahead and spare, right? But uh, since we both missed in it, uh, one of those uh, opens. Oh shit. So since we both since we both missed, we'll both go back one. Yes, sir. Reset and no. All right. So. Oh. I apologize. This is our first time playing the game, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I think the second time through, we'll know the rules a little more smoothly. But we're gonna go ahead and both move back one because we both failed to spare once. And on that last one, I was just dinking around. Um, so here we go. We have to strike or spare twice. 3D offset. Y'all want to see strikes with this ball anyways. I know you do. Oh, no. Or seven tens. Or seven tens, apparently. You gonna cover it? I'm not calling out Mitch. You're not calling out. <laughs> I'm not calling out Mitch. We're gonna leave you as the seven ten team here. <laughs> That's all I got. I don't make seven tens. So do you Oh no. <laughs> I have fallen backwards. I have a chance to matriarch. cover some ground here. So now we're starting to figure out how this game yes. really works. And uh, it's making it a lot harder. Fun hard. Yeah, I like fun hard. Yeah. It's my status on AIM. Got one. 
I, I flat. Now don't now somewhere. don't leave a split. I, I did last time, didn't I? Yeah. I believe so. So in case anybody was wondering, this game does have five difficulty levels. You don't have to be playing at this ridiculous difficulty that we are. If you have uh, fewer bowling balls or you have, you know, uh, a little bit more intermediate skills or beginner skills, there are levels of the game for you. Oh no. Oh, and you have to make it. Yeah, or you're going to- We're gonna back. see how underdeveloped my backup ball is. That's what we're gonna do right now. It's, it's always the time to practice. Yeah, this one might as well be a plastic backup ball. Oh, I haven't done this in a long time. This is going into the ditch. I got a dollar it stays on the lane. Dude! I wrapped it! <laughs> How did you throw a knuckleball? <laughs> you caught me in the <laughs> I used my, my guiding hand to push it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and move you backwards as well. And we're, we're back on the Griffin Matriarch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ready? Oh, the Griffin Matriarch is a six. So I have to move left. One board with the purple hammer. That sounds bad. Three on my side. Left six. Six. I'm left one purple hammer, he's left six. Here you go. This is my Someone's going back. I am going back. All right. I get to move forward into double zone. I get to, wait. No, I don't move wait, forward. I stay put. There. You move back to the Lunar Moth, which is also a six difficult. That's All right. I get to move right four. Oh yeah. Right four plastic ball. Yep. Five. All right, five left and I have to go Four right, plastic. plastic ball. Yep. Four right with the mopey. Come on, Dad, help me out here. <laughs> I should, this would be fun to do bringing my spy <laughs> as my spare ball, because then I can shape a little. All right, four right this way. All right, right at the beak. This is going to be a good workout today. Yes, it is. This is good practice. Yeah. See how dead that is? It's reactive. Looks like a purple hammer. <laughs> That's an insult to well, a very good hammer. bowling ball. <laughs> uh, oh. Jesus, Lord. Left four with the plastic ball. Right three. All right, we're gonna go fall back. Fall back into the Brooklyn side. As you're doing things that you normally aren't practicing in your normal practice and I think these skills will help carry through into tournaments when I get forced into that part of the lane and I have no idea how to hit it 
you know? Unlikely scenarios. Because right now I have no clue how to hit it. And now I have to get the nine pin out. There it is. Once we started playing the rules right, everything got hard. We started rolling harder, harder moves. What am I, right three? It's one V one. So it should be even. This is proof. It's all right, all you gotta do is make it. Oh! I fell off to the left, I knew that was gonna You happen. held no balance. I did not hold any balance, that was weird. Someone got punished for bad balance. I did get punished. And to the lunar moth again. All right, I'm moving left to with the plastic ball. Jesus. We got it. Two and three. Yeah, so you're right, right three, three. Yep. and I'm left two plastic. I'm gonna move my target way left. Speaking of balance. It's simple. You got it's it. It's just science. Science. Go ahead and move yourself. That's oh, yeah. right. Now we're both on the same challenge because I cannot strike anymore. Stop rolling the plastic ball. All right, I'm going left four. Plastic ball, come on. You're a thing. Uh, you're rocking with you. We got four and three. You're going right three. I'm going left four with your thing. Same spot. No talking, just action. Assume that's not the kind of action you were looking for. No, no, but we're gonna make it. So. Any shout outs? No, nobody's done an episode shoot before 810 yet. You're the first? You're gonna if be the we first. Do one, well, no. You need we, to do one. So on the house, they set up the whole house with the same spot. Oh, and okay. And they see how many they do. Packy did the lefty version of the 2810. I saw the 710. And Mitch did oh. the 710, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna just try the 24810. Fun fact. Every time I leave a 24810, uh, I move 12 and 2 right. And for some reason, my whole life, that's always been real close to right. So we're going to try that. We're going to go 5, 10, 12, move the target to. Oh, not enough. Not enough. All right, I'm going backwards. Oh, for you. Yeah. Because having to change from plastic to resin to urethane kind of adds a whole new element here. Right three. Okay, make green ball hook. Green ball's been hooking enough. Just enough. First time in this game I've had the lead. Just want to point that out. Yeah, and now you have to strike and spare twice in a row. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, left five. Plastic ball, come on. Three D offset. Three D off. No, that's no. obsession tour. Obsession tour. You got a little more angle with this ball, so. I think I can get it around the corner. I said that a lot today, though. There it is. It's always the 10 head. No, I'm not. It made a 7 pin. Oh, 
we are back up to uh, the Deep Forest Guardian. All right, come on, Griffin Matriarch, do me nice. I'm moving one board right. Please say Purple Hammer. 3D offset, we can do it. So you're going one board left, and I'm going one board right with a 3D offset. Well, no, yeah, we're gonna flatten it. Make it roll a little earlier. Make it roll a little bit, cook a little bit less. Try not to leave the ten. I'm gonna raise the the height of the ball in my stance to increase my swing momentum. That should get me that one board less hook. Then I don't have to adjust hand position. Perfect. That's what this game's good for. I'm gonna use this to teach. Makes you think. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that one's getting cut out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so I am on the rock slide challenge for two frames in a row I must spare or strike. And he has advanced to the creatures of the well. These ruthless aquatic twins long to hunt in the open water. Chained and starving, they are forced to wait for their meat to come to them. Ten. And you're going ten. Oh. Ten left. Ten left. You oh, have a dead no. ball. I... Best shot of the day. And the lane is hooking more. Right? Chopped it. Maybe. Holy crap. Holy. Eight and one. Yep, you gotta go eight right. left. Eight left. Right here. I'll take one, I need it. I think the right side's a little bit walled. No, I'm just throwing good ball reaction. <laughs> if it was walled, I would've hit the pocket. That's true. First time cameraman, shout out to Nathan doing a great job holding the baby. Literally, that's my baby. If I, I value my cat and my camera <laughs> over most things. All right, I'm moving a board left off of that. Throwing it just as good though. Okay, we can make it. We can. <laughs> I'm not gonna even take a chance. Y'all wanna see how much this ball flares? It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Uh... Don't go backwards, right? Oh, no, I can't. You're oh. back with me. You have to go here. And then you're and also moving. And I moving progress up. forward. We I are both. I was too ahead. At the Deep Forest Guardian. Oh, I never put one of the dragon cards down. There we go. All right, I have the whole deck there. The four-sided die. I have to move left three to win with a plastic ball, not a win. Two and eight. There we go. Two so you have to move right eight. Yep. We're back to the board, and um, 
Neither of us advanced, but we neither of us had to move backwards. I'm moving left six with the plastic ball. All right, we got a chance. Wait, left six, never mind. Damn it. Oh, he said, all right, we got a chance. All right, three and four. That's right, right three? Right three, and I'm left six plastic. You did hit the head pen. Yes. If only you cleaned your bowling balls once, ever. I need I didn't go back. All right. I didn't go back. Sided die. I have to move left five. Don't be a plastic ball. Don't be a, pl don't be a plastic ball. All right, we got urethane. Left five purple hammer. Left, left six. six. Here we go. Purple hammer, lower the ball height. And you know what? I'm gonna move forward on the approach. I'm gonna really cut the approach out of this. That's how you make it! Get past the deep forest guardian. All right, I'm moving right six. With the urethane ball. Okay. I want to hold my balance, but like, I want to slay the dragon and the excitement keeps pulling me up out of the shot. It takes a lot for me to come up out the shot. Both shots have even, I, I tried You've taken seven both. And a ten. You've taken both off. Now you just have to do them at the same time. Not that hard, right? Yeah. That's the problem all these bowling balls keep having. Oh my god. You took the 10 pin out inadvertently on your first shot. Your frame is now over, sir. Let me go ahead and just take a minute to just like talk about how freaking beautiful this piece is. No ball height adjustment, just spin to win. The right way! The right way! Look, if you try to take the short way in this game, it's not gonna work. You actually have to use your adjustments and like throw the ball good. Just because you're throwing from a weird spot doesn't mean throwing it bad is gonna make it better. You think you're gonna, this is where you're gonna. This is the turning point. This is the, turning this point. Is the plot twist in the fantasy epic. You took the 10 pin out again. Look at this thing. This is why I chose the character I chose, is mainly because this darn character is freaking epic. Win an entire game set, courtesy of Scarb Enterprises, by commenting below your favorite PWBA bowler and liking both videos, this and the unboxing here on Bowling Science. All right, I'm moving right, two boards, and throwing the purple hammer. <laughs> purple hammer. I intentionally move my target left into the oil where we know there's carry down. I think it'll hold. Let's see. So, target right, two four, or left two boards, feet right, two boards. I thought I 
I, had a very, I can't make a 710 without my thumb in the ball. And you took the 10 out. <laughs> you were like, there's no way you take the 10 out all that much shooting at the seven pin. Oh. Okay, I'm going backwards to the deep forest garden. All right, I'm moving right five boards and throwing 3D offset. Right five, spin to win, extra cock wrist. But it didn't hit the, the seven, seven pin and the ten pin. <laughs> All right, we are moving to the left, three boards with the obsession tour. I can do this. Oh my goodness! I keep missing left. Got a chance. <laughs> Look, there are shortcomings of your game that you've been able to get away with not addressing, right? Right. Right, because this it's like, you it too. might cost me 10 pins, right? right? I might lose 10 points a game. But here, you will not make it to the dragon. It's, like, it, it's good practice. It is really good practice to show what you need to. And it's kind of fun. It is fun. It's more than kind of fun. It, it's frustrating, but in a good way. Not that I thought it would be an afterthought, but I didn't imagine how engaging the way the challenges are written could be. All right, I'm here stuck again. We're going left. Six boards with the plastic ball again. Oh, I'm using my reroll. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Reminder, my special ability, I get two rerolls. You oh, you get I'm gonna say, I'm gonna reroll right here for not plastic. We're going left six. And I got urethane. Okay. Brooklyn? Yeah. Left six. Because the left side's easier. I should throw it back up. But I have a terrible backup, but my terrible backup might be better right now. You saw my backup, it can't be much worse than that. Okay. Left six. We're throwing a backup ball. That, has a way that went than very than straight. straight. <laughs> you know what's even more hard? Picking off the seven and the ten You'll never get to the dragon. At this rate? Oh! He got one! <laughs> King Parker has faith that he will take the 10 pin out here. Oh my god, that's a great line. He took the 10 pin out. I'm still trying to beat the deep forest guardian. He is two spaces ahead of me. I have two creatures to slay before I get caught with him on the bridge. Left, four, 3D offset. That's all he cares about. I want to slay the dragon before Nathan. I can't have him on the channel and lose the first game of Dragon Ball. That is the goal. Oh, that's... The night has fallen. That was the most disrespectful eight. Well... I mean, I slowed it down, got it to the dry. It looked, looked good. Away. It looked good. I need something that's going to finish with a little more rotation. All right, let's just make this fair. Oh, 
about to set up camp. <laughs> start hunting for some food. Yeah. Oh man, okay. We're moving right three with the purple hammer. I can do this. What's going through your head right now? You know, there was nothing going through my head. <laughs> I'm just afraid to think something because every time I've thought something bad could happen, it has. So we're just gonna hope to not leave a 710. That's a good goal. I'm gonna do the, last time I did this, I just moved my target left and tried to keep it in the oil and that, that hurt. So I'm going to go a little bit more ball speed by raising the ball height and I'm gonna keep it in the dry. We're learning stuff, dude. There he goes. I didn't think we were gonna learn this much today. Like, I'm excited. Well, cause league bowling is gonna be so easy after this. Well, yeah, because after shooting at exclusively the seven at exclusive 10 for pretty much a game now. My dad used to do this thing uh, when I was a youth bowler that for every 10 pin I missed in the youth league, I had to stay after and shoot 10 pins for 15 minutes. It's like free throws. He called, it, he called it the penalty box. So if I missed five 10 pins in a series of youth league, I had to stay after for 75 minutes and throw nothing but 10 pins. It is not sanctioned, but that does still not help. Dang it! <laughs> the ruling on the field, incomplete 10 pin. So, he has reached the dragon. And which dragon did we get today? The Sun Reaver. Wielding arcane fire, this behemoth attacks before villagers even awake. Fear the imminent dawn. Victory combo. Spare, spare, spare. I have to get three spares in a If the hero fights their way to the dragon's lair, they have earned the right to battle the dragon. See, I think after three games, you normally are just like you didn't defeat the dragon. Is that how it is? I think that's probably what was supposed to be going on here. But we have unlimited uh, quarters today in the in the arcade machine. We're gonna replay. Makes it, Makes it tough. You can lose. The dragon. Just so everyone knows, we're in game five. five. Been left or right, those twenty boards. No. One. One, two. All right. I'm gonna attempt to take out the left pass and then throw a strike ball at it. Okay. He's gotta make three spares in a row. I'll have a strike. I was so hoping you were gonna strike with the plastic ball. Okay. thinking about it. I should have thought about it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Let's see if we can. That's me trying to bowl left-handed. All right. One. You're moving two boards left. What are these low rolls? <laughs> And it's that my was turn. Such a good ball. Well, you oh, I hit my butt. I hit the butt. You know what you didn't hit? 
the 10 feet. <laughs> so we're going left 8 feet. There it is. There it is. I was really hoping for a 10 10. How did we get to where you're going first? 10 right. At some point, we swapped order. Did we? And learn he will. All right, one spare down. Two to go. Two to go. I stick first. Is this harder or easier than you thought it would be? Harder. Harder? Well, uh, we're actually running out of time here at the Bowling Center. We have been here for five and a half games and no one slayed the dragon. So we are getting out of here and uh, we're gonna come back next week and see if we can defeat the dragon on expert and pro difficulty. I want to thank Nathan for coming out. I want to thank Emerson Lanes for hoven, hoven, ugh. I want to thank Nathan for coming out. I want to thank Emerson Lanes for hosting us. And of course, I want to thank the sponsor of the episode, Scarb Enterprises, for providing us with this really exciting, fun game to bowl that actually really helped me work on my skills and adjustments as a two-hander. Um, any bowler can play it from entry level, first time bowling league, open play bowler, all the way up to professional. Um, I'm really excited. I think the game provides a better challenge, the higher difficulty you play it at. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and play it with all my friends and we're gonna see who the first person to beat the dragon is. Make sure you comment below, favorite PWBA bowler to win this copy of Dragon Bowl. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, make that comment and thumbs up the other video of the unboxing. And uh, we'll see who the lucky winner is. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mikey Dredd, this is Bowling Science. And we got roasted by the dragon.